In 2015, MIT scientists published a scientific paper demonstrating a new three-dimensional solar panel tower configuration which could provide 2 to 20 times the power over a flat solar panel that used the same footprint. They estimate that converting flat panel solar farms to 3D solar towers should provide over 1 terawatt of power worldwide. Currently, in 2019, we're only producing about a half a terawatt of solar power, and in 2015, when they published the paper, globally, we were only at about a quarter of a terawatt. But there's a catch. They point out that the shadows created by a neighboring tower would remove the benefit, and thus the technology would be relegated to urban environments only, on the tops of buildings with one or two towers strategically placed so the shadows didn't cross one another. But what if you could reduce or eliminate the shadow? When I first began to test solar panels with lenticular lens material in 2013, it was all about removing shadows and not about boosting output. Even a small shadow can reduce the output by 86 to 91 percent or one-tenth of the power that the panel is supposed to be producing. Our material in the first experiment was able to boost it from 1.8 watts without the material to 15.2 watts with the lens, which is about 64 percent of the control panel output. In the next experiment, I placed a second piece on the ground in front of the panel. This further boosted the output to 83 percent that of the control panel. While I don't show it here, I was able to hold another piece over top of the panel to completely remove the effect of the shadow, getting it to about 104% that of the control panel. In 2018, in preparation for the non-provisional patent application, I tried something a little different. If you've seen the last video, you know I was able to triple the solar panel output by placing the lenses on top of mirrors on all four sides of the solar panel, reflecting extra sunlight onto the panel. Here we can see that the shadow causes a 91% reduction of power. Adding a mirror had very little effect and no effect on the amperage. Adding a lenticular lens almost doubled the amperage. Adding a mirror under the lenticular lens tripled the amperage and adding the same configuration vertically on either side actually produced more power than the control panel, 69.9% more power. When I removed the tube causing the shadow, this configuration actually produced 143% more power, which is 2.43 times higher than the control panel. Within the patent, I've allowed for adding a reflective coating to the surface of the lenticular lens, reducing the mirror and lens assembly to one single piece. We know that we can improve output with the lenticular lens cylinders, and we know that adding diffraction grating also increases the power output and increases the angles that the sun is able to reflect onto the panel. I'm not reinventing the solar panel. I'll leave that to the people smarter than me, like the researchers at MIT. But I can solve their problem to neutralize the shadows that killed their dreams of terawatt solar production. And I think with our latest additions, we can give that number a substantial boost.